Nice to have you all back again once on my channel. Please, before we start this video, or before I solve this question on the board and bearing, I want to implore you if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please just play the subscription button. We need your subscription. Subscription is actually free, it doesn't cost you anything at all. Just click it and turn on your notifications so whenever I upload new content, you'll be notified of them. I want you to know that I appreciate you, your time and effort you make in visiting our channel on a regular basis. We have a question here on the board, still on that bearing and distance. But this time, you're going to see how we're going to do what? Bring the, the, the knowledge of speed into this. Please watch out. Now the question says that an aeroplane S whose average speed is 500 km leaves Maryland Airport at 7 a.m. and travels for two hours on a bearing of 50 degrees. It then changes its course and flies on a bearing of 120 degrees to an S strip A. Another aeroplane Y leaves Maryland at 10 a.m. and flies on a straight course to the S strip A. Both planes arrive at the S strip A at 11.30 a.m. Now, we are expected to calculate the average speed of Y, correct to three significant figure, the direction of flight Y, correct to the nearest degree. Now, this question you are seeing on the board here, it may look so big, but I tell you, if you relax and watch the video to the end, you will see that this is actually very, very simple. Now, let's go. Now, what is the meaning of this 500 km per hour? That means that this plane, the speed of this plane, it means that for every one hour, this plane covers 500 watt kilometer. Every one hour, it covers of 500 km. You will see why that is very important. So let's start now. Now, it's an airplane whose average speed is this, leave Maryland Airport. So let's say this is Maryland Airport here. Let's say this is Maryland Airport here. This is Maryland Airport. Now remember it shows at the bearing of what 050. So let's say this our let's say from here to here 050. Now it got to a point and changes its course and changes its course to what to an S strip A. Now we need to watch out to know what the distance covered here or the time taken. Remember, this plane started, this airplane started around what, 7 a.m. and then they arrived at what the airstrip around what 11 30 a.m. But remember that the question also told us that what after two hours, that means that from its beginning, that is from where it starts, from the starting point, it traveled for two hours before changing its course. Now from 7 a.m. to two hours from 7 a.m., that means that around 9 o'clock, that was when this plane changed its course to what to the airstrip. Now, it arrived at that air strip at around what, 11.30 a.m. That means that after changing course, this plane continued its journey for another what, two and a half hours. So, of course, you agree with me that the distance after changing will be longer than this. So, now, the question also told us that what, it traveled, it changed the course and traveled with a bearing of what, on a bearing of 120 degrees. So, 120 degrees is going to be, this is 90, so 120 is going to be around here. Good. Let's say this is the S strip. Pana S strip A. According to the equation. So an S strip A. Good. Now let's say another aeroplane Y leaves the same Maryland airport again around 10 a.m. and flies on a straight course to the S strip. On a straight course. That means on a straight course. This is Y now. Leaving the Maryland airport and traveling on a straight course to the world to the S strip. A good. Now the question says we should do a calculate the average speed of y correct to three significant figures. Now remember I said that this is two hours. Remember I said that around nine o'clock from nine to eleven that is what two and a half two hour thirty word minutes. Now for us to calculate the average speed, we need to know what the distance. Remember the time has been given to us. The plane left y m aeroplane y left around ten a.m. left Maryland airport around 10 a.m. and got here 11 30 that means that he spent what one hour 30 minutes he spent one hour 30 minutes 
on the way. So we know the time already. So we need to also know the word this time. Once we're able to get it this time, it's gonna be easy for us to do what to calculate the average speed because average speed is equals to what distance over time. Good. Now for us to get the distance here, we need to actually know this distance because we already know the time. Remember from the question, you said that this aeroplane travels 500 km every one hour. That is the meaning of this. 500 km per hour. That means for every one hour, the plane covers or 500 km. Now let me ask you, if the plane travels two hours, how many kilometers will it cover? So now let's let's level here. Now let's say this is B now. That is the starting point. And let me say this is what C. That is at the point that um, aeroplane X changes its course. Okay, now what will be the what the distance here? That is for two hours. What will be the distance? Now let me say I can say that BC will be equal to what speed times time. Remember, distance is equal to what speed times time. Now, what is the speed 500 and what is the time 2? So that is equal to what 1000 kilometers. That means that for two hours, this plane covered what 1000 kilometers. Now, what about AC? The distance here from the point it changes course to the airstream, what will be the distance? I start AC now, the same again, speed times time. What is the speed? 500 times 2.5. So 500 times 2.5, that will give us 1250. Yes, 500 times 2.5. That is 1250 kilometers. That means that this distance is what? 1250 kilometers. Good. Now, since I know this distance, I know this distance. Now, for you to get this distance here, so that I'll be able to calculate the average speed, I need to also do what? Know this angle. Now, what will I do here? Now, remember this is what? 50 degrees. Because that is what started from the starting point. Travel for what? At the, on the bearing of what? 50 degrees. That means that this is 50 degrees. Now, if this is 50, this angle here is alternate to this angle. That means that this is also 50. Now, this is what? 120 degrees. That is the bearing, okay, 120 degrees. Now, remember, the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to what? 180 degrees. It's equal to 180 degrees. So, for me to get here now, for us to get this point now, that will be 180 minus 120. 180 minus 120. 180 minus 120 will give us what? That will be what? 60. Okay, that will be 60. So, what will I do now? From this whole angle here, Will be what 50 plus 60 that is what 110 degrees 110 degrees now i've got to this angle now it will not be easy for me to get what this distance so to get so to get the distance now to get the distance now you know i know this angle now of calculated this angle to be 110 degrees we know this side now to be what 1000 and this side is 1,150. So we can easily calculate what? AB, that is distance. Once we get the distance, it's be easier for us to do or calculate the average speed. Now, for me to get the what? The distance, what will I do? We'll be using what? The cosine rule or the cosine formula. So I say using, using cosine rule now, using cosine rule, I'm looking for this. I'll say C square is equal to what? A square plus b square minus 2ab cos cos c cos c now what is a square a square is what 1000 1000 square plus b square is what 1250 square minus 2 times 1000 times 1250 times cos 110 degrees yes a, the small letter A is the side facing what? Angle A. And then the small letter B, okay, small letter B is the side facing what? Angle B. Now, what do I do now? From here, now we can use our calculator now to complete this work from here. 1,000 square, this will give us what? 1 million. This is what? 1 million plus 1,250. 1,250 square. Used to give us what one million five hundred and sixty two thousand five hundred. Now, if you use your calculator to do what press in your calculator cost one hundred and ten, you find that you'll be getting a negative and a negative, there will be minus. So that minus times this minus will change this to what to plus. 
okay it will change that to plus so what will i do from there now all we need to do now is to do or to multiply so we're going to multiply 2 times 1000 times 1250 times cos 110 times 2 times um 1000 times 1250 times cos 110 so that would be what plus um, 855,050. So, call the space I'm going to write here 855,050.35. So, adding everything now. So, I'm going to add all that now. So, that is 1 million, 1 million plus 1,562,500. Plus eight hundred and fifty five thousand and fifty point three five. We add that you'll be getting uh three times or three million four hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred or fifty point three five. So that is what C. C squared. So C now is equals. I'll take the square root of all this. Three, four, one, seven, five, five, zero point three five. We're going to take the square root of that now. So taking square root of that, three, four, one, seven, five, five, zero point three five. So that gives us what one thousand eight hundred and forty-eight point six six. So that is what the distance. So that is the distance. That is what AB. The distance AB is what 1848.66 what? kilometers. 66 kilometers. Now, I can easily calculate what the average speed now. And I say A now, average speed is equal to what? Distance over what? Over time. And what is the distance? 1848.66. Divided by what is the time? The time is what? 1 hour 30 minutes. So that is what? 1.5. 1.5. So when you divide that by 1.5, we'll be getting what? So the, our average speed is equal to what? 1,232.44. Now the question said that we should um, leave our answer to three significant figures. So therefore, average speed so approximately what? 1, 2, 3, 0. That is it. Kilometer per, per hour. That is the average speed of Y from the Maryland airport to the what, to the airstrip A. Is what? 1,230 kilometer per hour. That is it. Now the people are saying that the direction of flight Y correct to the nearest degree. The direction of flight Y. Now this is the direction of flight Y. Starting from this origin here. Down to this line here, taking us to the what to the S strip. And if you look at this whole angle here, you find out that this is what 90 degrees. This is what 90 degrees. So simple. This is already what they don't do for us. So the direction of flight right correct to the nearest degree is equals to what 90 degrees, and that is it. So there's no big work there at all. Okay, so you can I say the direction of flight. Of light Y to the nearest the nearest degree is what is 90 degrees and that is the end that is the end we have solved it so that is it's not difficult at all very simple so what is the big job here what is the main work here the main job for us is for us to do or get our distance once you have to calculate your distance very simple you apply your cosine rule Substitute everything into it, solve, and then the answer will be added. So this is actually what a very, very what simple question. If you look at what we've been doing so far, we've uploaded so many videos under this what topic bearing and distance. Please, I will encourage you to watch all these videos from the beginning to the end. If you are able to do that, I assure you that there is no question under bearing and distance that you will not be able to answer at any point in time. Remember, all we need. Remember your cosine rule, your sine rule. Application of what your speed, the formula for speed and what and distance. Once you know these little things, I tell you, you will be able 
to answer any question and then remember the introductory video where we explain what meaning of what of and to to okay what is the bearing of this point from this point what they all mean we explain it in our introductory video please watch them all so i'll be able to understand this concept very well once again i appreciate you so much for always making our time to visit joshua okue online math thank you so much bye bye